Our latest Olympian, Kelly Harrington, is back in Dublin town. She arrived back from Tokyo on a Qatar Airways flight into Dublin airport, and she has subsequently been out and about in her community on an open-top bus tour around Dublin's north inner city. Before she went onto the bus, she just took time, a couple of minutes, to stop and chat with media, and we had a chance to ask Kelly a few questions, and here they are. So, Kelly, tell us a little bit about what things have been like. How have you been feeling since... The, uh, since the win and the gold medal presentation on Sunday? I haven't actually slept since the fight. Um, I just had like a couple of like snoozes on the plane there because I'm just like, my head is just like ready to explode. And I feel quite, I feel quite emotionless right now because I'm probably because I'm tired or I've, I don't know, I've never, I've never experienced this before, you know, like, and, I, and I like when I came, trip, came back from the world championships, like there was people there and it was all my family and friends, you know, today when they come through, like there's only a couple of family and friends there today uh, because of the COVID restrictions and stuff. Um, but th there's, the media is everywhere and they're all pulling out your left, right and centre. And that just feels weird for me, like uh, I'm not used to that. So, yeah, it felt, <laughs> it felt weird. There were two, three, four times the number of people that you crammed into Croke Park around the corner from the family home up to watch you early on Sunday morning, Dublin time, and then to celebrate with you and your family and in the interviews afterwards. What happened for you, though, after the cameras switched off? What was it like in the few hours after the fight? I didn't speak to, like, mm. it probably was about four hours later, and I used... Bernard's phone to ring Mandy and I spoke to Mandy um for like 10 minutes on the phone and then I got like I didn't get home till a lot later because it was a press conference after after it like and then I had to do a uh, anti-doping uh, to go back and do an interview with RTE as well um by the time I got home I think it was nine o'clock or something like that I'm not too sure uh and then I didn't ring anybody. Like I haven't actually like this is the first time speaking to me to me Matt and that I think because I haven't been ringing people or anything like that because I'm just so exhausted and I don't know what I feel right now. I'm just like it hasn't even hasn't hit me. Like I'm just like what are all these people like? What like you know what like what, what do they want from me? Like this like it doesn't it doesn't feel like I like I don't know. It just feels like I've just been at a, a normal competition, you know and. I suppose that's just the way I always, the way I go into every competition is just treat like it is every normal competition, but it's not. It's actually an Olympic Games and like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's mad. Like, I, I can't really believe it, to be very honest with you. I, like, I think it will take, for me to realise what's actually going on, it will take me a couple of weeks to not be around a team, to not be in that environment, to actually realise what has happened and what I have achieved. You know, what are you looking forward to most now that you're back in Dublin? Apart, obviously, from getting a few hours sleep. Like as boring as it sounds, I just want to put my feet up on my chair. I just want to sit down on my sofa, like watch some watch some telly or or not watch telly, listen to the radio. I actually, like just sitting down and chilling out, watch listening to the radio and uh, drinking tea and having a coffee and having scones or cakes or. You know, like stuff that I can that I can actually eat now and not having to get up every morning and check me weight every every morning and like I, I make I actually I make me weight quite easy, uh, but I eat I'm very strict with my diet. Um so not having to be as strict with my diet now is gonna be brilliant to just eat whatever I want and I just yeah, that's the, these are the things I think most boxer looks forward to is just like being able to eat what they want and yeah <laughs> you're getting ready now to head off into town Dublin North in a city any idea of what that's going to be like or how it's going to make you feel do you know so I was just sat have been saying there I haven't shed a tear like since I come home because I'm I'm I've, I'm feeling very very exhausted but I think like I'm, I'm plus like it, it, like there's not that many people here because it because of COVID and stuff. So I just think when I go into town and I see so I see all those familiar faces and who know me from from 
from growing up, you know, and who knows my story and stuff like, and I'm going to see them and I'm going to see how happy they are for me and how happy they are for our community. And, you know, everyone's like, people are saying, oh, you've a great community or oh, your community are fantastic. Sure. I'm saying that forever. Like, you know what I mean? Like I've been saying that for years. Like, so like, you mustn't have been listening to me when I was saying it, you know what I mean? But I'm glad now that, that they're finally getting to see my community is absolutely smashing, you know, like, and that's in the good times and the bad times. They're always there for each other and they get behind their own, you know, and, and I, I love them. And I think when I, when I do see them, I'm, I'm probably going to end up bawling my eyes out. Like, and As you say, it's been a real whirlwind of activity and stuff going on around you since that time. Have you had a chance to check on the messages of support that have been coming on and checking out how coverage from Portland Row has been going around the world? Look, I'm not I'm not that type of person who goes around asking for pictures with everybody and I'm like, oh my God, there's that person over there. Or, oh, they're famous. I'm not a fame hugger or anything like that, you know? So, I, like, that's not me, you know? Fame, what is fame, you know what I mean? I'm all about humility. You know, you can be famous and be a bit of a, you know what? But, you know, my people are, are in my community and, and they're, that's what means the most to me. You know, there has been people, like there has been people who have reached out to me. I, I, I haven't replied to anyone because I, I, I don't know where to start. Like I haven't posted anything on social media. Again, I don't know where to start. Like, I, I don't know. I, like, I don't even know where to start with any of it. Like, I'm just like, it's just been, it's kind of been overwhelming, you know, like, and people are saying like, people, oh yeah, like the way you spoke and, you know, in the media and the way you, like you really spoke well. And I'm like, I'm just being me. I'm just speaking the way I would speak to to anybody. You know, like that's just me as a person. And you know, like what you see is what you get. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, have you given any thought yet as to what next? I don't know yet. That's the answer to that question. I have no idea. And finally, just before we let you go, have you put any thought into where you're going to actually keep the medal? Um, there's a bit of a scratch on it already. I don't know how it scratched. Um. I'm going to see, I think you can get replica medals made. So I might see if I can get a replica medal and bring that around with me. But um, the gold medal, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Probably with the rest of my medals, just in the house somewhere. Like, and if someone calls over, I'll show it to them. <laughs> That's where all the rest of my medals are. So that was Kelly Harrington, a true champion of the people and somebody who is going to become a real fixture as part of the Irish sporting landscape over the coming years. She has done brilliantly in her career to date. She's a brilliant person as well. It's a real pleasure to know her and to get to talk to her and indeed to bring her to you, our Sport for Business community.